I killed a fire now, I'm playing catch up in my car hole videos, once I finish that, I just have to maintain my site for a month, finished, so um, we are in week 9, um, first video, belief changer, and it's Sunshine Tanesco, we always have amazing belief changers, always, and um, Sunshine represents her name, Haria, and um, she's First Nation from Turtle Islands, so background uh, with colonization and stuff so um, she still stays on her homeland um, and she talks about her parents um, who are coming from a background of teachers so she, I think hers was drama and PE um, she, she created baby moccasins and um, when she started creating this this turned into something bigger she didn't realize that other people love what she does and um, everything she did was handcrafted and um, so yeah she she talked about going on to dragons Den. and I always watch dragons Den and I always watch the way they pitch and how they do it to be honest I think I've, I've crept my pants and I've got a bit too nervous to speak like that but um, watching um, just listening to her she was you know very rare do you see uh, indigenous entrepreneurs going on and, and for her culture and her people this was amazing she she went on for six months and um, they ended up dropping a comment though about she should have thought bigger and you know, gone gone big and they would have invested in there but anyway they tripled her sales and pretty much she talked about overnight she sold out by midnight and her whole site and everything was going ka-ching 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 and she said that's the first time she's ever experienced it so and that's, that's the beauty of being on there I suppose and are watching you and supporting you. Um, talked about um, using that whole idea of Dragon's Den and creating something for Indigenous entrepreneurs. Um, using judges who are Indigenous for their own culture. And yes, she created something that was so big and um, gave opportunity for other whanau to come in and pitch their idea with their crafts and um, because a lot of our crafts from our culture, um, yeah, they don't get recognised for what it was. So she was she was able to give people an opportunity to get out there and try it and see how it works. Uh, also talked about her opportunities and what what co-papa was big for them. So she created a, a book. I think they've got another book too. They they got two two of these books going out in regards to water, how water is scarce in their um. How you know um, where they live and all that, and it's it's gone big this book. So she's also touched on um, deed dependence that that helped um, keep the memory around, or or it helped um, just bring awareness. That's what it is, bring awareness of their um, how the how they have water shortage there. Um, also, she gave us some some little tips on how to pitch, and it was very specific about what you want so don't go in there and just keep it all over the way just direct exactly what you want this for and what that funding's for um clear on what your company is and what you represent your values knowing it off by heart in and out and um yeah so it, it those are just a few things she she was amazing so i i i I, I was blown away with it because I watch Dragon's Den all the time. Um, she creates a lot of um, her crafts from her culture, and I feel like that's where I'm going. I do a lot of hand, um, everything's handmade. My partner and I, we make everything handmade. We do use um, a few machines to help us sand and, and help us do other things. But, um, yeah, so this was awesome for me. And um, I've come to the end of my video and hope everybody's all good and I'll be putting out another video very shortly.